Yeah. You already ate already, ah? I'm oh, sorry, good. I cannot wait for you to talk so long. You talk so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Friday, everybody! Oh, I'm so glad it's Friday. I can't wait for the weekend to come start feasting. Why wait till the weekend to start feasting when you can start feasting today on a Friday? That's a good idea. That's why City Gourmet Pleasures is offering free signature dishes on Fridays. And we're going to bring you to four restaurants to check out their signature dishes. The first place is a restaurant that's surrounded by green. And the second place, we're going to bring you to a modern Japanese restaurant with dishes by a Korean-American chef. And then we're going to this restaurant that inspired my Sioba recipe. And finally, we're going to eat everybody's favourite dish, XL Pao. XL? You mean extra large Pao? <laughs> no, Xiao Long Pao. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, shall we go? Let's go. Wow, okay, that's, that's the only one word to describe this place is wow. If you have never been here, that's right. uh, the first time you step into this place, you'll go, wow. <laughs> so when we say uh, surrounded by green, uh, you didn't think I was talking about golf green, right? <laughs> Right? That's a good play on the word green. And this place is called the Greenhouse. And mm. Greenhouse is actually the main restaurant mm. for the Dusitani Laguna Luxury Resort here at the Laguna Golf Course. This place really feels as if you're in Gardens by the Bay, right? Yeah, it, it really it's has got, the beautiful yeah, it's, arch. So you guys really have to come and experience this place. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I, okay, I got to say one more thing. Here is where you can actually see the aeroplanes fly past. Ah. And because of the shield, right? Mm. No sound. Oh. So it's yeah. not noisy, you know. Okay. You see the aeroplanes go past. True, true. So Greenhouse is an all-day dining restaurant. It's got mm. five ethnic cuisines that we serve here. Of course, you got your Japanese, yep. Mediterranean, you got Cantonese, Chinese. Yep. And then you also got the Punjab tandoori, and the last one is the Thai. Ah, yes, of course. This is Dusitani. This is tani. <laughs> I think we'll start with the Japanese first right, because yeah. there's bincho tan or there's charcoal underneath. Yes, there. it's so bincho tan underneath. Yeah. Do a bit of like oh. that. Oh. And then when the oil drips onto mm. the to charcoal. Smoke. Ah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Since I like potate so much, yeah. I'm going to give myself the tree. <laughs> you can have Why this one. Why is that? Three on one and two on the other. And one, I, mine's got a bit of uh, vegetable on top. Oh, it's really lovely. Yeah. Mm. I think presentation wise, you can't beat the presentation. And the fact that the smoke is still going uh, gives the food a very nice smoky flavor. flavor. Mm. I know you like your scallop, but oh. I gotta introduce another smoky dish. Okay, what's that? This is their sweet and sour pork. Oh. But also got smoke. <laughs> it's the Kuru Buta sweet and sour pork. Do you think the smoke makes a difference? The smoke does give it a, a bit of a difference. Yeah. Overall, I think it's it's good. The crust could be a, a bit more crunchy. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. You want that, that really crunchy crust and then the pork somehow maybe can be a bit fattier. I feel that the pork is uh, fatty enough. I don't need it to be more fatty. The proportion of fat to the yeah. meat is enough. Okay. Um, I must agree that the crust can be a little bit more crunchy, yeah. but nonetheless, it's very, very delicious. Okay, It's, nice, it's huh? very delicious already. <laughs> and yeah. I like the element of the hickory smoke as well. Okay, let's go for the pizza. This is the porcini mushroom pizza. This is the kind of place where you can really eat the world, right? Mm. I mean, you can go from east to west. I saw they, they have a sort of a gas and wood fired oven, uh -huh. which is uh, always a good sign. Mm. Mm. Wow, very good. It's a nice pizza. Mm. As you all know, I do my own pizza at home. Mm. Yeah. I would love to have that cornicione at the side to be a little bit more puffy mm -hmm. and you know lighter. But Green. otherwise, I mean depending on what kind of pizzas they are gunning for. Mm. If you are talking about Napolitana pizza, this not doesn't quite fit. But some people will like the thin and sort of like a biscuity. Otherwise, the, uh, the flavour itself is very yeah, good. It's very nice. I mean, I love the porcini on this uh, pizza. But save your stomach because we have to try the Thai cuisine here. This is presented so nicely. Mm. I love these plates, right? Okay, I know you can't wait yeah. to get into the Tom Yum. Yes, so, that's right. Okay, so for you me, when you come and eat Thai, the thing to eat is the Tom Yum Kung. The Tom Yum Kung. Yeah, to yep. see whether it it's is an good. indication of how good the chef is. <laughs> Aside from the big head prawns, I noticed that the mushrooms are already special. Ah. They managed to get those straw mushrooms, right? So that's always a very good indication. Yes, this kind of straw mushroom is important in any sort of... Yeah. Uh, then it's more authentic. Well, yeah. it's authentic because you know the chef 
is actually from Dusit Thani in from Thailand. Yeah. Thailand. But the beauty of these big head prawns is is the amount of roe they have. Wow. You know, when the roe mixes in with the soup, gives it a really rich... Crustacean flavour. Oh yeah. yeah. That's right. Oh yeah. This is a very good quality tom yum soup. Yeah. Alright, not your ordinary one. So I think the roe from the Big Head River prawns yep. really makes a difference. It's really infused into the, the broth. Wow, dear. I'm really enjoying this tom yum soup. Yeah, I know. You Taken a lot of tom yum, so I never seen you so impressed. I mean, seriously. Okay, let's go for a part thai. The first thing you notice is the the way they they have their eggs. It's almost like a roti jala, right? Hmm. Okay. What do you think? I think it's okay. I think you are more impressed with the tom yum. <laughs> I mean, the yeah. kung is very nice and yeah. juicy. Um, mm. the the part thai, it's a bit sweet for me. Got one more thai dish mm -hmm. for dessert. Khao niao ma muang. This is Thai mango sticky rice, okay? okay? Because the mango is from Thailand. So what is interesting is the uh, the sticky rice comes in uh, three different colours. Yep. Black rice, then you got uh, blue pea, mm. and you got pandan. Mm. Yeah, I just want to make a comment that yeah. uh, the main thing about it is this yeah. is the green bean right. that is steamed, okay? So this is something that is extra here. La. You don't see it yes. on a lot of your yes. Thai desserts That's any, why everywhere. I, you know, I have a recipe online where I teach you all how to make this. A lot of people don't actually la. <laughs> bother. I'm a little bit mm, reticent about the rice because in the effort to make it so nice, right? I, I don't know, it looks, it looks like it's going to be dry. La. To me, I, I feel that it is uh, pretty okay. It's not dry, yeah. especially when you drizzle the uh, coconut on it. I definitely give them plus points for presentation and yeah. it looks really, really nice. Yeah. The good news is yes. that you can also have this for free mm. when you spend a minimum of $80 with your city card. Only on Fridays where your weekend feasting can start early. That's correct. So where to next, yeah? Next, we're going to a modern Japanese restaurant with creative dishes by a Korean-American chef. Korean American chef Japanese restaurant. I wonder what kind of food they'll serve. Yes. Wow, this place is so nice, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's very nice. Yes, it's very nice. Yeah, I mean basically it is your kind of like up, up market. I wouldn't say it's casual dining as well ah. because it's got carpets and it's yeah. got all this lovely art on the wall, yes. which I understand is Chef Akira Beck's mother's uh, painting. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. Right. Wow. Yeah. Very artistic family. <laughs> so as I understand it, Chef Akira used to be a professional snowboarder. Ooh. Mm. In the US, is it? Mm, mm, mm. It's Korean. Korean American mm -hmm. likes to do Japanese cuisine, so this is the kind of food you get, lah. I mean, this is a yellowtail tata. Yes. Mm. And he's got nine different kinds of condiments, condiments mm -hmm. uh, chopped up hamachi with a bit of caviar on top. Yes. And then brioche bread. It's said, uh, mm. the chef likes you to enjoy your food and yet walk out of here feeling sexy. It means that sexy <laughs> means, <laughs> means that you don't feel too full, you so feel you still full. feel like you still got your <laughs> swell figure, you know, as you walk so out. So it's like, what you say, you say, si si That means to say you eat for the taste. For shokeness. for shokeness, not for you to feel not full and bloated. Feel... And it's got this little mixing bowl, right? So if yeah. I'm not wrong, a little spoon for you, a little spoon for yeah. me. They got green cross spring onions, and then got the garlic chips, and uh, egg. We got egg yolk and egg white, right? I think must go one uh, direction. No, 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 no. Go then you do it yourself, lah. I mean, mm. I can just imagine here having a drink uh, in your hand, and then you just have this in the middle, and you're just slowly constructing your. Yeah. Uh, tata on your brioche. It's kind of food that you don't eat quickly. <laughs> what a Korean American chef yes. making Japanese food will come out with, right? This is it. Exactly. Ta da da! <laughs> Looks like. This is taco, right? Yeah, it's a wagyu taco. Yeah, it's officially called the AB, which stands for Akira Back. Yeah. Wagyu taco. Okay. okay, the Korean sauce is in the beef itself, right? Yeah. That's, uh, they they yeah. cook the, the beef with yeah. the bagugi sauce. Yeah. And then the taco is very interesting. Uh. This is not your normal kind of taco, right? No, guess what it is? I think once you see the side, you know. Ah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's la. yam. It's actually <laughs> fried yam. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Delicious. Nice. It's the kind of food that you put in your mouth and you go, this is good. <laughs> I'm going to have another one. 
Wonderful flavors happening in the mouth. Yeah, at the flavors moment, are just yeah. yeah. Even though it's wagyu, you don't get that wagyu feeling. You know, wagyu is when you bite into the piece of meat and all the juices just fill mm. your mouth. Mm. You don't get that, but it's a, it's a nice. I mean, yeah, flavor. it's not over. Even you know, some of this beef means it, it's like very dry and everything, mm. but this is still juicy, so yeah. I, I like it that way. Yeah. Mm. See, we finish two <laughs> each. So fast. So, so fast. <laughs> so this is uh, the San Choku mm -hmm. short ribs. Yeah. That has been slow cooked for 48 hours mm. so that it's nice and tender. Like, I mean, short ribs are <laughs> it's the best, right? Oh, wow, looks nice. Mm. Ooh! Mm. Wow! Guys, look at this. This is super tender. Mm. Very good. Mm. Slow cooked short rib. So, after eating these three dishes, I just feel that, hey, I can come back here and explore the rest of the menu. I want to see what else Chef will come up with. The tuna pizza. We, we tried this before, mm. and this is his most famous uh, dish, which is featured in all his restaurants across the world. To me, this is really a piece of art. Mm. And uh, there's a layer of umami sauce in between. Oh, umami sauce. They may tell you it's umami sauce, they don't tell you what is it exactly. Of course not, that's the <laughs> secret. No, it's so nice. Oh. The tortilla is light, it's flaky, it's not like your normal mm. tortilla where you're expecting a chew, right? You yeah. just bite into it and it sort of like disintegrates, right? Mm. Like what you say, mm -hmm. it's the kind of thing that you eat and you still feel sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Readjust your pants. <laughs> As you take pieces of the pizza up, there yep. is a reveal of a bit of art here, I think. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is also a piece, well, a piece of, of her art on yeah, the plate itself. That's right. oh, okay. But I think I need to um, eat more of the pizza in order to reveal, <laughs> reveal the art. This one is the rock shrimp tempura. That's right. I think this is uh, Chef Akira's way of imagining. You know how the Chinese have kind of deep fried shrimp, shrimp. wasabi, yeah. wasabi mayo. It's a bit of a spicy kick, huh? Yeah, it's a bit of spice. Nice. I think this, the spicy sauce comes from... The sri sriracha. No, the sriracha, sriracha sauce. Sriracha and ranch. Yes, that's right. Yeah. The City Gourmet Pleasures Friday special here mm. is that all you need to do is to spend a minimum of $60 mm. and then you can choose between the tuna pizza or the rock stream tempura. Wait, wait, wait. $60 minimum spend. Yes. This is $28. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's <laughs> very good. Very deal. good. Actually, it's very good. Yeah. All you need to do is to bring along your city card, all right? And then remember, happy Fridays. Yeah. Okay, where are we off to next? Next, we're going to bring you to a Michelin star Chinese restaurant. Oh, okay. This is a nice place, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. I mean, Michelin star, leh. I mean, Crystal Jade has many uh, restaurants, uh -huh. right? And and of the fine dining restaurants, mm -hmm. this is the only one with the Michelin star. So mm. so I mean, you're talking about Michelin star yes. Chinese mm. cuisine. I think we should try the scallop first. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take this from here. Oh wow, the, it's set in some nice uh, mm. salt here, ne? I think the presentation is. I mean, in terms <laughs> of Teochew <laughs> you appetizer. Okay. This is very very interesting, no? Oh, the scallop is very sweet. Mm. The chef was telling me that mm. they specially source um, your scallop from Australia. Australian scallops? Yeah, okay. for cooking, the, the, it comes across Ooh, better. You can okay. taste, right? Yeah. I'm going to try the braised duck next. This is, um, I guess, Teochew style braised duck. I've never had braised duck like this before. Yeah, very dainty. I mean, yeah, <laughs> served, but you can see... This is Golden Palace, ma. This so musty, daintily. Wow. Very good. <laughs> chef told me that they use um, American duck. Oh. American, which is not as commonly used because a lot of people nowadays, mm. nowadays they like to use uh, Irish mm -hmm. duck. But uh, he felt that Irish duck was a bit too fat. This American duck has just got a nice, it's, it's, mm. the meat is I a little see. bit more marble. Uh -huh. You know, the thing about fine dining is that it yes. it's very pretty. It comes yes. with all these beautiful flowers. Yes. So this one is a prawn roll, okay? It, it, no, prawn ball. Ah. Yeah. I mean, or, uh, if they call it prawn roll, it's because it is prawn <laughs> in a ball shape that can roll. That can roll, okay. <laughs> you can hear me chewing or not? Mm. Yummy. This is the crab roll. Alright, this crab roll looks like hei zhou. Ah. This is teochew, it's hei zhou. But this is not even hei, no, this is, is uh, hoi, hoi zhou. 
not pure crab meat, I'm sure. Mixed with, probably mixed in uh, some fish paste or something. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference between the two. <laughs> That's the problem. I think if they're going to have four of these, yeah. at least, you know, this one should be something else. Uh. Yeah. Maybe a liver roll, you know, because that's what we... Liver? Yeah, and kua <laughs> hui. Oh, yeah. Usually, true, true. Uh, in the teochew. Mm -hmm. Appetizer, that's a yeah. classic. Uh. You want to do the angel hair pasta? Yes, the angel hair pasta. Yeah. Very tasty. Mm. Very good. Very nice, very nice. Mm. But I still don't understand why they use angel hair pasta. <laughs> I mean, you can use um, mi sua. Now, let's go for the... Coconut soup. soup. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's not coconut soup. Morel mushroom soup. I think it probably got some chicken stock inside. Lah. Okay, then you can see the morels. Yeah? Very expensive. One of the more most expensive mushrooms mm -hmm. around, aside mm -hmm. from truffles, right? Yep. Then morels. Now, you take the other morel too, no problem. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you like, huh? I like, no? It's very ting ting. It's very, uh, it's light. For me, it's like, mm, okay. Lah. I was expecting a real, mm, wow, you know? I think for you, you like very strong flavours. No, I um, like... Yes, you do. I, yeah. I, I like light flavours. It's just that... He likes strong flavours. Yeah. <laughs> and now, for the free signature dish... The Sioba. Ta -da! Right. Hey, you know, this Sioba, right? I mean, we were telling you my inspiration for mm. coming out with the Sioba recipe was yes. this particular Sioba, which I had Back in 2009, mm -hmm. you can go and check my blog, mm -hmm. right, from Crystal Jade. My first taste of the sioba, I went, oh, this is so good, so good, <laughs> so good, so good. If you all know how to eat sioba, right, you know that the bottom part is where the meat is very tough. With this style of sioba, they take away the tough part and then they cut away the side. One big slab of uh, sioba like this, right, you can only get about eight portions if you're lucky or okay. six if you're not lucky because okay. sometimes it's just too fat at the mm -hmm. side. You have a nice layer of meat, mm -hmm. layer of fat and a very thin rind. Yes. Put a bit of uh, mm -hmm. mustard. You're ready already? Yeah. How's sorry, it? I cannot wait for you to talk so long. You talk so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> something Eat already, like this, please. Something like this, you know, that costs, you know, costs like a do you know, almost $2 a pop. You better understand what you're eating. Lah. Okay, I'm going to say this. To achieve this, right, mm. it's so much of the rind that's actually shaven off, right, yes, to yes, achieve yeah, this. Yeah, so, yeah. You might think that, ah, it's so small, yeah. so expensive, yeah. but there's a lot of effort that's gone into it's this. It's super yeah. crisp. The, the rind is oh, super it's crisp. Very, very good. The, the pork is super nicely marinated. So, the City Gourmet Pleasures Friday promo here is that you get this yoba for free if you spend a minimum of $78. Okay, mm. that's great. Mm. Alright, so where are we off to next? Next, I'm going to take you to Paradise. Paradise, ah? Really, ah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> And here we are in Paradise. Ayah, you mean Paradise Dynasty? Yeah, okay. Talk about okay. Paradise. Ayah. <laughs> so we're just gonna try four dishes here today. One is a swan la tang. Then we have the egg fried rice with uh, pork chop, uh, the dumpling with uh, chili oil, and sushi to. All right, let's have the soup. Okay, here we go. Come. Hmm. I like it. This reminds me of back in the day when we were having you know those restaurant ten course dinner that you would have uh -huh. when you were younger. We always put a lot of vinegar and a lot of uh, pepper about, and everything. <laughs> You're talking soup. about shark <laughs> soup, la. Yeah, but it still has that same kind of uh, okay, familiar got, feel about it. It's definitely lots of. Uh, it's got the same texture, and it's got the black vinegar. And it's also got a little bit of that spicy kick from the pepper. For me, it could have a little bit more kick, you know. I, I find you that. You want more kick, ah? I find that the. <laughs> The swan is there, but the la is not. It doesn't really hit. Well, we're still on the Sichuan track. This is the dumpling with uh, chili oil. With la yu. Mm. Mm. I like how it's so silky and slippery. Yeah. The skin is the thing that I really like about it. I would love to have a bit more of the ma, I think. That ma is actually very addictive. You, you to me, it's like <laughs> when you get, we get numb, right? And you want to get more numb. More. <laughs> One, I just la, then it can be all numb. <laughs> Next, we have our sujito. It doesn't taste like a vegetable. La. It's only green. La. The minced meat is very tasty. Mm, you're right. Full of umami. Yeah. And when you bite into it, the beans just 
sort of like crunchy, sweet. Yeah. Now I know why they recommended this dish. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> this pork chop with egg fried rice, right? It's good. And then plus the pork chop. It's good. If I were to be really, really fussy, yeah. I would say that maybe a bit more wok would be nice. Mm. But otherwise, I think uh, the kids will really enjoy the dish. To me, this is pretty good. My immediate reaction to the pork is that it's very tender. I like that. I give them plus points for that. So, what is the promotion here? Well, the City Gourmet Pleasures Happy Friday promo mm. is that they're going to give away this signature Xiao Long Pao with a minimum spend of $70. There you go. So the question is, how do you like to eat your Xiao Long Pao? Are you the yes. type that like to nibble at the end and let everything drip in or from the top? I actually like to put the whole dumpling into my mouth and eat it. Okay. But when it first comes, I cannot tahan. So <laughs> that and putting it into the mouth straight away is not a good idea. I love how the whole thing just fills your mouth, right? Yeah, I think it's cool enough. Let me see. The skin, then the tongue, everything. That's the beauty of Xiao Long Pao. Okay, so we come to the end of another food trail. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us until the end. So don't forget to bring along your city cards to take advantage of all the free signature dishes that they're giving out on Fridays. That's right. Why start your feasting on a Saturday when your weekend can start on a Friday? <laughs> That's right. So happy Fridays and happy feasting. Bye for now.